Howdy folks. Well, uh, we're back here again uh, working on this uh, maple burl bowl. Uh, got quite a lot of this stuff left and it's all pretty good sized. And this is where we left off yesterday. We got a hole drilled in here. That hole probably will need to go at least probably about another inch. But we'll try and get this turned out. The main problem here now is that this side of the of the uh, piece is a lot heavier than this side. So I was thinking that I could would be able to handle that, but it's getting to be where I think we need to take some of this off and make these two sides more even. Although this side will not have any bark on it, I think we'll have better going if we cut this down a little bit. So, uh, the problem all along here has been that, that the, the thing that's a lot of balance and wants to jump around, it's hard to get much speed out of it. So we're up to about 1290 and uh, I'm going to take the beaver and I'm going to try to carefully come across here and take about a maybe a half to three quarters of an inch off of here and then try and take a little more off the outside and see if we can even this thing up a little bit and get a little a little more uh, speed we turn out the center here. So, hats on. Get the uh, face shield on. And we're ready to grab and give it a try here at 1290. some off there. I'm not sure if we can get any more speed or not. I got a little bit. Uh, 
and shave a little more off here. I think I have a good, a good, uh, a good connection here on the, with the four jaw chuck, and I think that's causing part of the problem. So I think what we're going to do is is uh, try to try to work a little on the back side here. I know you can't see it. that's going to help. we got a little bit more to do. Uh, some more shaping to do. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be. But I think we'll shut this off here and uh, hopefully have a chance to come back to it a little later. So thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.